Good balls, YouTube. How's it going, everybody? Happy Friday the 13th. Well, it's still the 13th for me when I'm doing this, but yeah, hi. Um, anyways, I found this Anu Battle saved up in my folders that I actually did not remember I had. And I know I said on my Facebook page that I will probably be doing an RU Showdown Live because I didn't feel like editing a battle, but I wanted to do this just because I don't feel like doing a showdown live now. But don't worry, I will probably get another one up on Monday just because... Saturday and Sunday I probably won't be uploading anything because of personal life stuff going on so yeah n next video will probably be up until Monday which will more than likely be a showdown live also I have something important that I want to talk to you guys about at the end of this battle regarding future uploads so please stick around until the very end of the video because I would really like to get your guys' opinions on uh, the future stuff that I would do plan to upload and yes I know this is my channel but I like to have your guys' opinions on what I upload because I want to entertain you guys I want you guys to actually like my videos and before I talk about team preview big thanks to Avision for the uh, Wi-Fi battle background I'll leave his channel link down in the description now the reason why I don't leave the battle backgrounds in the description is because they're not mine if they were mine and I made them myself then of course I would leave them in the description gladly but they're Avision's and I don't want to put them in the description without his permission so you guys can PM him for the backgrounds or if he does give me permission to put them in the description then I will also big thanks to man chains for the uh, grayish colored background layout thing <laughs> going on anyways team preview I got a really fun team that I made with my boy Wanderer of the Wind although he doesn't like this team so yeah I decided to get a battle with him this battle actually turned out to be pretty fun and close actually uh, look at our threats on my opponent's side of the field. If he gets up hazards with Basiodon and Scolipede, that's going to be really annoying because I don't have a spinner on my team, especially if he has Toxic Spikes. That's going to be a major pain in the ass to my team. Also, if I lose Musharna, Sock is going to plow through my team. Also, Electros, with it being so um, diverse and having such a great move pool, could definitely prove to be a problem. So, Sock and Electros are the two main things I have to watch out for. So he's going to be leading off with Bastiodon as I lead off with my Pearl Pass. We're both just going to get up our rocks because it's the first turn of the game. That's what you do first turn of the game. You get up your rocks. Then the following turn I'm going to go for the Vol Switch because this is a specially defensive Pearl Pass. I don't have Earth Power so I'm just going to get out of there. As he actually turns out to have the Metal Burst which you don't really see much on Bastiodon. At least I don't. I normally see like uh, Toxic, Roar, Rock Blast, and um, Stealth Rocks. So I go for the U-turn predicting him to switch out but he makes an excellent play, predicts me to U-turn, goes for the roar and he ends up getting off more uh, rocks damage on my Primeape. Then this turn predicting him to switch out I'm actually going to go for the U-turn as he brings in the Alamomola and he has Rocky Helmet. I wonder where I've seen that before. <laughs> Anyways, I U-turn out to my Electabuzz, Buzz and I know that a Volt Switch should easily knock out this Alamomola so I'm going to go for it as he goes for the Protect just scouting out to see what I want to lock myself into. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch and... He lives on 3%, which means he has a good amount of special defensive ease, and Alamomola is way too bulky. So I Volt Switch into my Pearl Pass, and I know that he's going to want to go for the Protect, so what I'm going to do is go for the Power Gem. Then this turn, predicting him to wish again, knowing that I can't do anything to him, I'm actually going to go for the Toxic. That way I can start wearing down Alamomola slowly but surely. So this turn I make a really dumb play, and I go for the Power Gem, obviously what I should have done was gone for the Volt Switch, but yeah, I wasn't really thinking. I was like, stab, he's gonna stay in, it, it's whatever. And yeah, that was really dumb on me as he brought in the sock. I'm gonna switch into my Mushar and I need double switches out to Scolipede, predicting that. And this turn, I'm gonna predict him to predict me to switch into Pearl Pass, and I'm gonna stay in expecting to take an Aqua Tail or an Earthquake, or just him getting up a layer of spikes. But he goes for the Mega Horn and he misses. The reason why this is slowing down is because this is a very crucial part in this battle. Now, I would have been able to live that Mega Horn, keep that in mind, but my Musharna would have easily been revenge killed. Unfortunately though, now that he lost Scolipede, nothing on his team hits my Musharna for super effective damage, which means Musharna is definitely going to be a key player in this battle. Unfortunately though, Mega Horn does have 80 accuracy, so you can't really be too upset about the fact that he actually missed, because 20% is still a good chance. So you brought in the Electros, predicting him just to go for a Thunderbolt, I'm going to go for the Calm Mind, as he actually Vol switch into, Vol switches into the Bastiodon, I am then going to go for the Psychic, just because I know that he's going to want to go for the Roar, not wanting my Musharna to get up too many Calm Minds, as he roars me out to the Primate, because I've gone for U-Turn the previous two times this turn, I'm going to go for Close Combat, predicting him to stay in, predicting me to U-Turn, predicting him to switch into Alamomola, and I pop him with the Close Combat, although now he gets a free switch into the Kangaskhan which can easily force out my primate but it's fine because I have power pass and then I can switch into Musharna but no he predicts the power pass switch in and gets off a huge hit 
with the earthquake and at this point I don't really need my pro pass anymore so I'm just gonna leave it in for fodder that way I can get a free switch back into my apartment because I know I can easily take a sucker punch and nothing on his team appreciates a close combat so knowing this he's actually gonna switch into his Alamola and at this point the rocky helmet damage is really really wearing me down thankfully though the Tox is going to bring Alamomola down to the point where I can guarantee close combat will knock him out. As I do knock him out, my Primate at this point is basically useless to me because it can only live one more Stealth Rock switch in. So I'm just going to leave it in for fodder on this Kangaskhan as he easily knocks me out with the Fake Out. Then this turn I bring in my Ludicolo. Reason being is that I knew Musharna could easily live a double edge but by bringing in Ludicolo, I bring him down to a lower amount of HP to the point where I don't have to waste. Uh, two more moonlights to stall him out and I lower the chances of him actually being able to crit me with the double edge so I bring him with Sharna and it's just basically going to be him double edging and me moonlighting until the point where he does die off to the recoil as he goes this turn for one final double edge he actually does get a crit so maybe I should have just switched directly into Musharna instead of foddering off my Ludicolo but it's not a big deal. As he dies off to the recoil, he is now going to bring in the Electros. I know at this point, Pinsir could probably win me the battle. So what I'm going to do is I like to stay in and just go for the Psychic. So I can bring Electros down to the point where I know a Nexus from Pinsir will be able to knock out Electros. So he goes for a Thunderbolt Flamethrower combination. Knocks out my Musharna and allowing me to now bring in my Pinsir. And if anybody makes a Dick Pinch reference, you will be blocked. Okay? Okay. And I knock him out with the x -Scissor. and at this point with Sock being his last, I'm really positive that an Earthquake will knock out Sock a plus one, but without Life Orb, Pinsir is just not as strong, so he's going to live on 80% and knock me out with the Stone Edge. But now I can just bring in a Electabuzz and Revenge Kill him with the Thunderbolt, and that's going to be the 1-0 victory in my favor. So yeah, as I said, the Mega Hormuz definitely played a crucial role in this battle, but in the end, I still thought it was a pretty fun, good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about regarding my future uploads is that the 19th is actually my birthday and I was thinking about spoiling myself and buying an HD PVR so I could upload Xbox gameplay and PS3 gameplay. But I don't want to buy it, then upload it and not have you guys watch it. So that's why I'm bringing this up would you guys like me to do Xbox 360 and PS3 gameplays if you guys would like I can list off some of the games that I have and some of the games I like to play and then you can decide from that and actually um, let me get my games real quick alright so I got some of the games that I play and actually some games I haven't beaten yet that I will gladly restart to play until I beat but yeah I have all the God of War games I have Injustice, Gods Among Us, Dishonored, Transformers, Fall of Cybertron Batman Arkham City and Batman Arkham Asylum. I actually ordered the new Batman Arkham Origins, so if you guys would like to see that, I could play that as well. And then I have Darksiders 2 and Darksiders 1, actually. So, yeah, if you guys would like to see gameplays of those stuff, I'm not a big, like, first-person shooter kind of game. But I'm not a big first-person shooter kind of guy, so I don't really like, like, Call of Duty or stuff like that. But, yeah, if you guys would like me to do gameplay of that stuff, then I will gladly buy the... HD PVR and upload the gameplay of that as I said this all depends on whether you guys will watch it or not watch it because I don't want to spend the money then have you guys not like the uploads and the let's plays of the games that I will be doing but yeah with that guys um, that's all I've had to say a video was playing on your screen it was my PS live that I uploaded with my fracture team so if you guys want to go check that out click the screen on that and yeah with that I will probably see you guys on Monday unless I do have some free time to make a video tomorrow or Sunday and with that I am out of here later everybody